Listen to part of a lecture given in a child development class. The professor is talking about an aspect of early learning. Although we learn to count from an early age, learning to count is quite complicated. First, children need to learn the names of the numbers in their particular language. They learn the numbers, but often get the order wrong. Eventually, with much parental correction, children learn the numbers up to 20, but this does not indicate an ability to count. The next step is learning that each number can represent or correspond to a real object. This notion takes time to perfect. If you watch young children trying to count a row of toys, you will notice that they begin well, but after counting the first few toys, they say the number names without matching the number to a toy. Perfecting the ability to match a number to an object occurs later in the child's development. The final stage in learning to count is achieved when the child learns that the number of the last object in the row describes the total number of objects in that row. In other words, if there is a row of 12 objects, the number 12 represents not the final object, but the whole collection of objects, or group of 12. This distinction is a significant step in the child's understanding of basic mathematics. What is the talk mainly about? How does the speaker describe the process of learning to count? When does a child learn that there is a difference between counting an object and counting a group of objects? The professor briefly explains a process. Summarize the process by putting the events in order. To what group of people would this talk most likely be given?